Hey bar flies, I'm Case Renee Rogers and this is your dive bar abs workout by Fitness on the Rocks. So get ready to get sweaty and red faced cause we're going hard tonight. We've got two four and a half minute circuits and all you need is a mat or carpet. Keep in mind this workout is pretty freaking hard. So if it's your first time, don't worry about it. You'll get better with time. This is my assistant Adam. Something interesting about Adam is that he's hot. Part of what makes him so hot is his ridiculous six pack. Who wants abs like Adam? Okay, so I want you on the ground, on your back, preferably on a mat or carpet, and I want you to scoop in your stomach into a nice C curve and prop yourself up on your elbows. Once you have that curve with your lower abs scooped in, belly button hugging your spine, I want you to bring your palms, the back of your thighs, and then eventually bring your arms out in front of you, 90 degree angles, fist flex, like a badass. Let's do this. Just small curls here, focusing on drawing the stomach in and up rather than pooching it out. Stay balanced on your tailbone and don't let your shoulders sink down towards the mat. I call these suckies because you really, really have to suck in consistently the whole time. And because I suck. The more rounded in the low back and the subtler the movement, the harder. Okay, so now we're doing the same thing, but we're adding tiny pelvic tucks. You just go curl and curl and tuck and tuck. Two actions, curling the torso down and tucking the pelvis inwards and upwards. Just putting an emphasis on our lower abs, not our asses, moving from the pelvic floor and zipping it all up all the way in. There's kind of no way for me to explain the pelvic floor without getting super graphic, but you guys can figure it out. On the tucks, make sure to squeeze your abs in towards your rib cage, driving the low back into the mat, creating length in the low spine. And curl, and curl, and tuck, and tuck, and curl, and curl, and tuck, and tuck. 15 more seconds here. And tuck, and tuck. All right, now we're going into obliques. Bring your hands together and just pulsing them to the right. We just pulse. Four, three, two, one, and oblique other side. Get ready to make some figure eights across your body, swooping your fists side to side, working every part of your core. I want you sweating like a vegan at Steak and Shake. And drop your back for some bicycles. Keep your chest wide and think about sucking in the ab muscles that are the deepest and closest to your spine. Presenting Mother Nature's Spanx, otherwise known as the transversus abdominis, or the muscles that wrap around the midsection and hug everything in like a corset, sucking in your belly fat and actually making your waist appear smaller. They're the muscles that lie just below the obliques, the same ones you use when you vomit or cough. Mother Nature's Spanx. I just saved you $49.99, so you're welcome. Keep in mind, all of these workouts are about contained intensity. It's a whole lot harder and a hell of a lot more efficient to keep things small and contained rather than thrashing your body around. It's like taking a shot of tequila versus drinking a whole margarita. Both will get you tipsy, one's just a little more efficient, you know? And come up into a boat hold here. Screw the pooch. That's a saying that doesn't at all refer to your belly fat, but I really think that it should. Breathing, holding, holding, maintaining that C-curve, scooping it all in, pulling it up, and oblique crunches to the side. Try to exhale sharply with every contraction every time you crunch it upwards. And bring it around to the other side. And up, and up, and up, supporting your neck. 
Try playing around with the range of motion here. What makes it harder for you? Keeping everything small and tight or making larger movements and going higher? And toe touches, let's go. So flex your heels, keep your legs straight, core sucked in, and don't crap out on me just because you're on your back. I know you're tired, but you know who's not tired? Beyonce. No reach, bitch. Come on, Adam, touch your toes. What kind of dancer are you? I'm sorry, I just have such a fun time giving Adam shit because he's actually one of the smartest, most talented dudes I know. A-hole went to Princeton. Like what sperm bank catalog did I find him in, right? All right, first circuit done. Let's prep for suckies. Back into the suckies, just because I know you love these. Up and up and up and up. Keep breathing. Name of the game here is really pulling up, really scooping it in. Like you're at the beach and there's a really hot lifeguard and you're just like sucking it in. You're like, what? I look like this all the time. Oh my God. I'm so hungry. I'm so skinny. And curl, and curl, and curl. Sucky tuck sequence. Curl, curl, and tuck, and tuck, and curl, and curl, and tuck, and tuck. Yes. Come on. If you do start to break form, however, and you start to get into those outer abs, reset, put them on the back of your thighs, and then bring them out as soon as you get it in. I really want you to try to get those really deep, deep low abs, the ones that are underneath this outer layer. Deep tuck of the low pelvis, hollow out the stomach. Remember, hot lifeguard, suck it in. And curl, and curl, and tuck and tuck, curl and curl, four more seconds, three, two, one, all right, obliques to the right, just tiny little pulses into the side, really digging into that oblique, remembering to breathe, remembering to maintain that C curve, and take those pulses over to the left side. Nice long neck, nice open shoulders, just pulsing to the side, Again, think about pulling in that corset of ab muscles. And now nice figure eights. Yeah, oh, scooping into those obliques. <sighs> Breathing, pulling up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We made it to bicycles on your back, side and side. Oh my God, does Adam need some tape? Cause he's ripped. And switch, and switch, and switch, and switch. And switch, yep, way to keep your torso off the ground, perfect. Switch, and switch, and switch. Don't let your knees come past 90, switch. And pause, okay. And scoop everything up into a hold and let it shake. Shaking is good, it's just your body getting stronger. Embrace the shakes. Oblique crunches, right hip facing up. We are so close to the end, stay with me. Bring your knees over to the other side, left hip facing up. This is our second to last thing, almost there. Now we go straight leg toe touches. Get on up there, Adam. You can flex your toes if you really want to try and touch your toes. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Up, 
up, less jerky, more smooth, more graceful, like a dancer, yes. All the tension out of the neck. Put that all into your stomach, yes. I know you're getting exhausted, but stay with me. We're almost there. Four, three, two, and one. And you have finished. Great job, guys. Roll over onto your stomachs and give me a nice little baby cobra. Roll your shoulders back. Big breath in. And out. And option to come up. Hey there, bar flies. If you want to become a bar regular, subscribe now for more workouts, fitness tips, confidence hacks, and creative ways to squeeze in some healthy living between cocktails. Remember, fitness should be like drinking, always fun and never done alone. So subscribe now to join our community of folks who like a good sweat but don't take life too seriously. And make sure to click the link below for access to my website for more of the good stuff. Cheers.